everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California. Coming to you live on Wednesday. So very nice. Welcome back. Thank you. It was nice. Yeah. I could have used a couple more days, and here's why. I know you're like, don't even say No. It. When no, you it. have travel days, so my trip was six days. Two full days are travel. Oh, yeah. And then two of the days, it's a three and a half hour bus ride. Oh, right. To and from. So you're losing essentially another day. So we had three days at the beach, which was wonderful. I will be talking about it a lot. It was what I needed. A lot of downtime. Like we, the only thing we did, surf lesson, which was great. I had the young... 25 year old I make a joke right at the beginning <clears throat> asking him if he got he drew the short end of the stick like he got the middle-aged woman you know my son's like I can't believe you even said it I said it's true though I am a middle-aged woman you're never gonna see him again <laughs> <laughs> no he was amazing so positive energy I'm literally doing business consulting with him in the middle of the ocean because oh I want him to be successful it was great. I got up on the board. I wish I had video and that's everyone's like, why didn't you have video? You'd have to have a videographer because Brennan is near me with his own instructor. So you had a private essentially surf lesson with, I mean, I, I got the 25 year old Brennan got like, a, um, he does the board with flippers. I don't know what it's called. Do you guys oh, know what it's called? Never heard of that. <clears throat> oh, shit. Like, we would call them boogie boards, but it's not because he's in. But anyway, he's world renowned, like famous, oh, wow. okay. wins things. So, this is his little side gig. He has this when the season's off, he and his brother run a surfing thing. But <clears throat> we had a great time. My cough is still here. My cough was better there, but I was really good about taking all the medication. Now, I'll start again. But it was great. It was just really good. Um, we stay. I get emails sometimes about my traveling and how I can do it. And I think Americans tend to travel um, extravagant and expensive. And I will say that is not um, my traveling style. So people wonder how I can afford it. Number one, I have a vacation budget. I always have since I've been married. But our flights together, two flights, well, our flights were $212 a piece. We travel on the Mexican buses or Costa Rican buses, right? So we're traveling with people who live there. Our bus ride was $10. We're staying at an Airbnb. That was $99 a month. You can travel as cost effectively as you want or extravagantly as you want. I'm someone who doesn't like to associated with other Americans when I travel because frankly a lot of them are obnoxious <laughs> <clears throat> so if you're ever interested in traveling on a budget you can reach out to me I will share all my secrets that is how I travel I mean my son's already like where are we going next because that's all my kids travel um hi Dona Doina but I'm I'm just happy to be back that's I wish I could mm, in Costa Rica, if you've been before, they have this Pura Vida vibe. And it's, um, ooh, this is what I was talking to the surf instructor. It's heart energy. Um, and it's just about, like, Pura Vida means thank you, you're welcome, nice to meet you. It's like everything, like, they just kept saying it all the time. If I could instill some of that to you guys, just um, come from your heart. That is the best way to live your life. <clears throat> and it's one reason why I think that the store, we have great merchandise, but my team, we all lead from our hearts. That's why it's about connections. It's why I'm so open with sharing. Um, and it was really nice for me just to get away for a little bit and kind of pour into myself after a very long summer, um, <clears throat> a very stressful summer. So it was great for that to be done. Hi, 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 my friend. Um, oh, yeah. Nancy, I don't know anything about Colombia except for um, I have a nice pair of emerald earrings from Colombia from my ex-husband. <laughs> they have emeralds there. They're beautiful. 
I'm sure it's the same vibe, but I believe you need to be a little safe. That's what I would say about I feel safe because I'm with someone who fluently speaks Spanish and I can understand it. Mm. I'm going to tell you guys about one one food experience. I have two great like food was great at the beginning and great at the end in between meh and very expensive. It was American pricing. So for me, Costa Rica is besides the people a little overrated price wise. I don't want to pay American prices. Um, when I'm traveling somewhere like that. <clears throat> Brennan, of course, flies by the seat of the pant, his pants, which I was like, Whoo, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree a lot of times. <laughs> but he found a speakeasy restaurant in San Jose. So you go into this place that is like a wine bar, charcuterie gift store, and then you have to ask the hostess to go to the bar. And so there's literally a bookcase that they open up and then there's like a secret bar that you can go. And then when you're in there, you ask again and you go up to the restaurant, which is through another secret. Oh, it was speak so, easy. Yes, speak got it. Easy. Got it. <clears throat> it was great. And that was that was great food. It was still. Um, so that was one. But it was really uh, it was delicious. And then I'll tell you. Um, Friday about my, remind me to talk about my Friday one. It was, oh my gosh, amazing. Yes, a speakeasy, Melanie. It was amazing. Um, but that was really good. That was a find that he literally found, I am sure, as we're driving to the apartment, because that's how he rolls. Um, that's it. It was great. I'd, I mean, I would recommend it. I would rec if you're looking for a better financial, I would say going to Mexico is a better the cost when you're there is less expensive than Costa Rica. But Nancy said she will be with a friend who lives there, so in Colombia. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. Well, you'll have to get ask her to take you to where you can buy emeralds if that's your first stone. <clears throat> All right. Trying to think. I have lots of things running through my head. I did finish one project, almost another one. Very so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe it? I mean, I normally on vacation always start a new project. And I was like, I have new projects waiting for me when I got here. But I was like, oh, I'm so close to finishing my easy spirit. Easy spirit? spirit? Free spirit. Free spirit. Easy. <clears throat> How many of you start a new project when you go on vacation? Because I certainly do. Yeah. Then you only need to bring one thing. Oh, no, I still bring my work in progresses because, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. Sometimes you need more than one project, but I definitely like to start a new. Even if I'm going to my sister's for the weekend, I'm like, oh, I need a new project. Mm -hmm. Nancy, I, that is why um, Alexandra went. Yeah. <clears throat> Deborah, I know. I'm not, this is, I like to start new projects, but I'm so close on a bunch. Mm. I was like, oh, it'd be good for me to do some UFOs. Pam, I didn't bring ready. Do you know why? Um, I'm halfway done with that sleeve. It's too sticky. It's very, very humid. And it's too big of a project <clears throat> to pack because yeah. it's a full sweater. At this Correct. Point. Yeah. Um, Kathy says she brings one and doesn't touch it. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. A vacation vacation, <clears throat> yes, that happens. But to my sisters, I'll definitely work on it. And I have to have a new project. Cause I do like a new project. It. It's <clears throat> normally I would start a new sweater. Yeah. Because last year I did Badger and Bloom. And I did uh, easy. Mm, yes. Um, even easier eyelet yoke. I love that one. Oh, that may be on my to do soon because I need a, another one. Yeah, I just need something quick. I'm just gonna keep changing it, right? Yeah. The style of it. I don't know. There's a lot of good super bulkies in the store. Oh, speaking of which, I'm really excited. <clears throat> the new inspirations for Art Yarns is here in the building. We could not advertise it on social media until yes. the 1st of November. <clears throat> but if you're interested in seeing the photos ahead of time, you can email me directly at hello at natikyarns.com or you can come into the boutique. It's a 10 out of 10. It's 12 out of 10. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. So if that's something that you're interested in, 
<clears throat> reach out to me and we'll send you some photography. Um, we can do all the transactions over the phone because it's point of sale only because and we are selling it. It's beautiful. And Melanie, I forget that one. The zigzag from Art Yarns. Oh, just Chevron something. Whatever that is. That's why I'm my color came. So I have to finish these other projects. There's another sweater, Mazzoni, that Melanie told me about. That <clears throat> is gorgeous. It's not that. Mm, you'll have to look it up. Okay. It's in our history. I Hi, it Allie. Last night, nice to see you. Gorgeous. Painted chevrons. Yeah, that's it. The Kathy Delgado. Yarn. You know what? I have a lot of UFO sweaters where I get to the split or I've done the hard part. Now I'm like, wah, wah. so I want to try and I did say I was going to do 12 sweaters this year. So I have to figure that out. Where am I at? And I, I'll probably just do the other ones. You might make Mazzoni with it. You got to look it up. Okay, let me look. <laughs> it's in our Ravelry history. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, everyone. Oh, it's right there. It doesn't look much different than the other. Is it? Different than the art yarns. This is Mazzoni. It's similar but different. And I think if you use the contrast color. Well, I was going to do three. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the chevron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are different. I, the other one's a lace chevron, isn't it? Sort of. I don't know. I'll have to see. I mean, yeah. I do love this. We'll have to do some comparison, mm -hmm. but I, I like this one too. I do. I mean, there's things that I would do. I like the ribbing down here. Look at how the ribbing goes all the way up into the point, or maybe nice. it doesn't. I don't know. That's pretty too. What is this? Fingering weight held double. Oh, that won't work for mine because the yarn's too beautiful to double it. It gets True. messy. We didn't think about that, Melanie. I didn't read that far into it. Melanie says it's not lace. They're slightly different, I think. Nice. We'll do some. What looking. kind of colors in the inspirations, Roxanne? We'll send you a picture. It's beautiful. I know I can't. I have quick photos we on my phone. We <laughs> have basically this thing that we're not allowed to release it on social media, but it's probably one of my favorite ones in a year or two. Roxanne. <laughs> That's right. Already. All right. We're going to jump in because we're going to showcase the new Nora magazine today. Uh, issue number 25. Lots of great stuff. We're going to do just this really fast. Our <clears throat> monthly grand prize valued at over 250. I think 250 I think so, yeah. this time because of the art yarns that's in it. Three amazing patterns out of the 199 you can find in our Ravelry library. It comes with the Pioneer Valley Green Apple Caramels, a skein of Art Yarns One Ply um, Mohair. Mohair Ombre, a skein of Merino Cloud. This is because I've been gone, like my autopilot's gone. <clears throat> the Sarah Hart uh, woven labels that say, this took me forever. We, oh, I love, I saw these, this, these candles were at our Airbnb. Oh, nice. The Tanjori Lychee Value Spa Candles. We had three of the A through Trade crocheted bracelets. They're roll-on, so they fit just about any wrist size. And then the exclusive uh, Lemonwood Pink Penny Multi-Tool. That's an And pickleball socks. And pickleball socks. Oh, my gosh. We were on a Southwest flight, and this girl's like, all right, I've been cut. Like, we just landed. Everyone's contacting me about pickleball. <laughs> I was like, okay. She's all in the pickleball. I know that. Uh, shout out to my team. Karen worked a couple of days. Brenda worked a couple of days. The store looks totally revised. I mean, oh, so, so cute. Uh, anyone who wants the photography for inspiration, here's what I need you to do. Email me a hello at Nitik Yarns. I honestly, I'm not going to have the time to go through all of the um, comments. And it's also a lot easier for me to respond by just putting in the photo and sending it back to you. So email me hello at NitikYarns.com and just write the word inspirations. Can you grab me a Kleenex and maybe the restart? Where is it? Oh, here. Then I can stop sniffing at everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
sniffing, coughing. Oh my gosh. It's I, cold again. I came to work in short sleeves. I was like, oh, it's, it's a little crisp today. All right. How do they get entered to win that monthly prize, Susan? Every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per purchase and, or completed transaction. And the more you purchase, the more entries you get. We will add them all up and do our drawing on Friday, November 1st. <coughs> Oh, look at all the nice comments. You see them? Yes, you I guys know. are awesome. We can't do it without you guys. So, I think collectively, uh, the connection between our team and then our team and all of our lovely people, that's why we're successful. As I said, it's a heart connection. All right. Our daily prize, which is exciting. I haven't been able to give any of those out lately. This is Ant Eater. Uh, one of our patterns knit out of a DK weight yarn. Um, and this is a beautiful uh, green. It's kind of more of a yellow green, but I love it's 80% extra fine merino wool and 20% cashmere. It is very soft. You're going to have enough to do the small. Probably the medium. Oh, there is enough for the medium. The small or the medium. I will highlight that. <coughs> oh, so, sorry, everyone. The patterns normally do have three sizes, so you have a choice on this one, yeah. one or two. And this is a good way. Look through your sash. If you have a skein of cosette just marinating there, you're going to want something. This pattern is going to look best on a solid or semi-solid. A variegated, it's going to, um, it's too You'll distracting. It. Yeah. Uh, lots of good ways to do this. Oh. Goodness. Thank you, Nancy. I, oh my goodness. <clears throat> How you get entered to win? Very easy, all through engagement. Every click of an emoji gets you one entry. Every comment gets you five entries. So the more comments you make, the more entries you get. The quickest way is to share the, uh, I haven't typed in a week. Okay. <clears throat> then you can hit the forward arrow. You can share to your stories very easily. Pop back over. Say something nice. You can share your little love note right there, whatever you want to say. And when you click share now, that will share to, uh, where does that one go? Your friends, your stories. You can share this it. Goes, yeah, your page. This one. Goes to your feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can even copy the link and share directly to friends. So just come back and say shared to and where. Oop, you lost the. I know. That drives I know. Me crazy. <clears throat> so share to and where, that will get you 11 entries and it lets new peeps find us and we can um, form new friendships. Oh, share our knowledge. Sanchez, looking Ooh. forward to seeing the new magazine. It is exciting. It is a good one. All right, here we go. Let's see who's going to be the lucky winner of this prize. Linda Simpson. Oh, I love that. Congratulations. Give you a quick turnaround tour here while I let Linda know uh, she is not local. So next time she makes a purchase, you can let us know in the notes you have a prize. We will include it in your pretty cool package. If you win and you are local, the next time you come in, I'll let us know you have a prize. And we'll get it from the cabinet for you. Rainy season is coming. We do have umbrellas here in the boutique. They're so cute, too. They are cute. I love that little gray and white polka dot one that's mm -hmm. got a cute little black ruffle on it. Kind of turn and not make everyone dizzy. I'm so excited that this came in. You guys know I'm a big fan of Nora Magazine. And uh, a lot has to do with Jilda. Jilda made Nora so exciting for us with the events that she hosted and every magazine. I feel like they just keep getting better and better and better. And this is <clears throat> just the same. This is Nora Magazine issue number 25, brand new. Just came in yesterday. Yes. I think yesterday. Even I love this. Yeah, so I will pretty. say the brand new yarns are not here yet, but when they come, we're already scheduled, I believe in January or February, to do a trunk show oh, nice. like we've done before. Maybe we'll do a party, too. I liked doing that. 
Um, the cost of the magazine is under $10 and you get normally 25 patterns. So it's a ridiculous price um, for it. Uh, and this is my first time. I have not looked at this. <laughs> I haven't opened it. I wanted you guys to get like my real opinions on things. Love this. Love one. this. Kiss it up a little more for the glare. Yeah, a little better. <clears throat> Let me see. No? More? Yep, a little more. More? There you go. Well, that's hard for I me know. to even see it. I know. Okay. Or Love it. this color work right here. This is, I don't even know if this is the first design because it doesn't even say that. I don't know, but I do know it's in there somewhere. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I hadn't noticed that one. <gasps> Pineapple Appreciate. lace. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Um, this one is made out of Curion, or you could use any other worsted weight. I would do Silk Garden or Subame, uh, just because I really like a softer feel than Curion. Um, and then one of the new ones, which we don't have yet. Nope. So you guys are going to get an advance looking at the sweaters also. And this is pretty, the oversized, really, it's really hot right now, over the knee boots. Now, if really? only we'd all kept those from 20 years ago. Uh, really cute. I like this high-low. So here's the new yarns. And I mean, I looked at these, gosh, April, yeah. May, I think I did the ordering on these. There is so um, Ritu, which is wool, silk, mohair. It's a worsted weight. There's Sayun, which is 70% polym uh, wool, 30% polyamide. Melanie says, if only my thighs, dot, dot, dot. Right. <clears throat> Carolyn likes crocheting pineapple, and now she will try knitting them. Oh, my gosh, Carolyn, what was the name of that two-color crochet you were practicing? We were trying so hard to think of it last night in Brenda's class, and I just could not come up with it. It's driving me crazy. Okay, is it better to lay it down? Maybe. Because then you can see. I can. Because <coughs> I cannot. Ooh, okay. Isn't that fun? Th this would be a fun one for people. It's a beginner workshop using seed stitch, textured rib, the fleck stitch, and basket weave. All amazing. Now, they use different yarns. You could do that, or you could just use. Do it all in one. Do it all in one. That's my thinking. I don't want to weave in all those ends. Pretty. I love samplers, though. I love this one. It's it's all the color around the edges. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, Nikki Epstein. Amazing. This could be a pillow, just to learn all the different textures. Oh, it's a quilt block. Ooh, that's cool. Modular made easy, it says. <clears throat> that would be fun to do, even with your leftovers. <laughs> There's a thigh high boot conversation going on. Is that thing you should? Yeah. Go oh, away, Glare. Hold on. Mm. I think this is really fun. This might be a fun little class for us. That would be. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we are into the actual patterns. Ooh, this is pretty. This is Beatrix. It is a mosaic cardigan. I love a v-neck. I think it's very flattering for everyone. There are pockets, or you can choose not to do pockets, because I feel like that pocket's a little useless. Yeah. What are you getting? Your fingertips are cold? Yeah. Stick your tape measure in there, maybe? <clears throat> this is a slip stitch, a mosaic pattern, gorgeous, using a Mel Venus in the color Mul uh, Mulberry. I love this one. And Ito. Or you could use Subame. So any, as long as it's the same weight, uh, you can switch things up. I'm in love with this, this one. This is stunning. This is a new yarn. It's beautiful. Again, a slip stitch. So this is a new DK weight. I swear it said worst. One second. Oh, no. I read it wrong. DK weight. I love that. Nice. So it's a little bit thinner. Um self-striping yarn it's beautiful two different colors i was just about to ask but they're opposite so yeah. you really can see it it almost looks like there's a little halo in there that's beautiful even doing like a sweater out of that 
Melanie, that would be good on a sweater with two opposite colors. All right, here we are, this beautiful blanket. Oh, yes, Rosamund. Yeah, I like that they're having different names instead yeah. of, like, slip stitch blanket. Right. <clears throat> Rosemary Drysdale, she's a great designer. This is out of two shades, uh, one shade of Curion and Rika. Again, any worsted combination, but you can see the slip stitches right here with garter. I like the thick thin that you're getting at the edges too. Oh my gosh, you're I I didn't see that, but I was like, oh I love it. Okay. This is pretty. I'm not a huge balloon sleeve, but the detail of this makes it really pretty. The stitch pattern is, is gorgeous. gorgeous. This is Hanui Silk and Ritu, which is a new one. I could fit two arms in that sleeve, Oh, Melissa Leitman. Oh, nice. Oh, she's a great designer. Really shout out to Melissa. Everyone needs to be thinking good thoughts for her. She's going through something. This is beautiful. I would wear this. Melanie, isn't this gorgeous? How many of you guys would wear something like this? That the excitement's on the sleeve. And the Hanui silk, beautiful. I think we may. No. We clarinsed it. We, I don't know if we did that, but we don't have it right now. I oh, checked. I think we did clearance. There's, if there's a sticky on it, it's a yarn we have. Okay. But you can it's switch up yep, anything sure. you want. Here is another one. This is Zaria by Mari Lynn Patrick. This is a loose fitting vest. Vests are so popular right now. I need to make one. I really do like them. You should. I think they look good on your body, too. I have one at home that's Lona's Laces Shepherd Worsted, and for the life of me, I cannot find the pattern name, so I don't wear it, mm. because everybody, every time I wear it, people want to know, and I'm like, I can't find it. You could just say your sister made it, and then just... Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Toss it on. <laughs> uh, Pam says she'd like a tighter sleeve. I feel like, I do like, it's not huge balloon, but I think it is beautiful. You could do a tighter sleeve by picking up less stitches. Very easy. I like this. Yeah. And that's really pretty. Really this is uh, two colors again. That's how you're getting that. You can see the, it looks like it's four rows, four rows, four rows, four rows. Beautiful. Ooh, I'd love to see you do a vest. Ooh, this one is this awesome. This is beautiful. This is Silk Garden or Curion or Ito. They used a lot of Curion um, this time, but this brioche is gorgeous. Two color brioche. So one picture is the striped dominant the other picture is the background the cream is the dominant color so same pattern they just changed which yarn is in front really yeah hmm. i think a different pattern here's why six and seven. Oh well okay but still <clears throat> they did swap the colors they did because i read that somewhere on it Mm -hmm. You're right, they are different patterns, my bad. But still, similar, this is more zigzaggy, this yeah. is more cabled, but they're beautiful. I see what you're saying. On the inside of this one is the cream. Yeah. So I like that. So you get two hats in one. That's a nice thing. Ooh, here's another one. Three bonbons. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. And then here they, oh, this is it. Look at it. This Maybe is that's where I read it. reversed and yeah. then one side out. Isn't that gorgeous that you can get two different looks, especially if you're choosing different colors? There okay, here's the one we love. This is beautiful. This is uh, Silk Garden would be beautiful for this. It is actually all Silk Garden. Hmm. Wait. No, a new one. I think a new one. Background no. color, a new one? Maybe. I like that. I think it's pretty. I would do less swingy or it's just really oversized on her. Yeah. <clears throat> That's an easy modification. Easy. Okay. I love Gorgeous. this. Gorgeous. This is pretty. Look at this. A pair of fingerless mitts and a cowl. Two color work. The corrugated ribbing, which is gorgeous. Mm. Oh, my sister loves Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh, yeah. Is it a slip stitch pattern, or is it actually... I think it's Farrell. cuff, at least. 
the cuff it's um no you're doing it's basically fair eyes okay uh-huh oh this one okay you should make this one this is cute with that it comes over a little bit yeah no sleeves no <laughs> sleeves you can make it a little shorter i don't mind them long as long as it hits correct i just feel like Maybe more zigzag, less ribbing. Yeah. The ribbing's a little extensive. Over, it's overpowering. Mm -hmm. I normally do two inch, no matter what the pattern says. Two, two inches, inches at the bottom, an yeah. inch at the sleeves. On a smaller needle. They, yes. No matter what the pattern tells you, you need to drop down one or two sizes. I think the designers have done a great job. These are very unique designs. Now, now this looks more like typical Noro. Yeah. Right? Where you, I think this is gorgeous too, though. You've got some, I don't know if it's strips. I would think so. Because you don't want to encourage that. Maybe not. Let's but you see. also don't want to sew them together. Gradient blocks of Curion created. One, the alternating blocks are knit from short lengths of each colorway. Hmm. I wouldn't want to sew that, though. No. You could be doing intarsia. You could. Where you're just switching, and then they actually switch sooner. Uh, this is beautiful. I do think Noro does an amazing job with blankets and <clears throat> blocks. This section right here, bad. Bad? Uh, no. Difficult? No. No. Bad was the wrong, wrong word. It looks like Taj Mahal. I don't know how bad came out. Sorry, everyone. My my mind's <laughs> Your brain is tired. It's so. tired. Um, <clears throat> no, I love this. I think it's really pretty. I think it's really interesting. That one came out all blue, and the rest are all colors except mm -hmm. for right there. It'd be interesting if you could um, maybe this one is a solid color like Malvinas. Oh, right. And this would be a different. That would be fun. A variegated. I feel like that would really stand out. They look like CDs. What are CDs? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. My kids don't. I it's, mean, they don't even do CDs I, anymore. I almost see a leaf, <laughs> a leaf in this one. I have to keep going, no, wait, it's not a leaf. It's more, more round, but... Oh my it gosh. It's very fun. That's beautiful. This looks like the ocean. It does. I want to grab that one of these. Yes. I want to see that one. I mean, it. how beautiful. Do you guys see the um, starfish? Yeah. Thank you. Devin, I was like, where did bad come from? Yes. have the word? Thank you, Devin. Badass. Oh, <laughs> it is badass. But do you guys see what I'm saying? If you had a solid in that one section and then the variegated in the others. Oh, Devin. It would almost I give love you that. an illusion effect. <clears throat> I think this is stunning. Is it? A There's a peekaboo here. And here. Oh, I love this even more. Is it a capelet? It could be a capelet. I think. I, I, cause I don't it must be. But I do like that. Let me zoom in for you guys. Star shawl. Oh, sure enough. It's beautiful. Very ocean vibes. I I do. It's interesting because some of the designs aren't really my vibe of what I would wear, but artistically, I'm so drawn to them yeah. that it'd be fun to knit. A portion. A portion of it and then have Susan finish it. Because <laughs> I'm fascinated by this modular knitting. Yeah, this one is definitely fascinating just in the construction. I really like this one. <clears throat> that one looks nice and comfy. It looks comfortable. I kind of like the pocket. It breaks it up. Uh, the V-neck, I'm sure it's bottom up, but that this cabling oh, then splits. Aesthetically beautiful. I'm not even... <clears throat> spotted the cable in it again curion it's they have really focused on curion yeah i nice. but ito would be a great one to use ito is really four skeins of curion put together <clears throat> there's softer. a little it is softer yeah and 
Um, I believe, oh, I wish Jilda was here. 32 color changes. It's a lot of changes in this one. Here's the Malvinus, which is very soft. This is 100% wool, but it's a softer wool than carry-on. I like those two together. I didn't do that on purpose. Right? If you want even softer, Tasogari is a worsted weight. 60% wool, 20% silk, 20% mohair. You know how we were talking about for the um, Turkey Day classes, the yeah. chunky Rika would be a nice one. Oh, yes, it would. Because. Oh, that one shawl we're talking about? Yes. Do you see what I mean? I think that'd be really pretty. And maybe we'd only need one. We yeah. are. You guys are hearing us talking about Turkey Days. We're going to try and get. They're live. Um, they're, oh, I love that. They're Good live. They're, they're not <clears throat> specific. But yeah. The time slots are in the calendar. Time slots are already in the calendar for our Turkey Day classes that we do. Our gift to you. The week of Thanksgiving in store or online. <laughs> Carolyn. I love that. Carolyn, you are a badass great grandma. You are for sure. <clears throat> I would like this a little bit longer and just make it into like a dress, like a little mini dress over your knees with no slit. But I think very pretty. Ruby Rose. Oh, Melissa Leapman again. This is one busy person. Yeah. This is um Silk Garden again. <clears throat> Beautiful. And there's um something like a mohair-ish in there. You mm. see that the fuzz? You can see it down here. <coughs> They've act interesting. This is mixed with an Ella Ray. Ray. Hmm. Although this would be a good one to read. The designer focuses on Melissa Leitman. She's amazing. Her story. Oh, wow, that's cute, too. That looks quick. It does, Boy, yeah. now it's gone into patriotic. Like this. Ooh, so pretty. Medley. Uses two different colors of Malvinus. And Madar is in it. Interesting. Sakura. Okay, there's all kinds. There's a lot. Mixology, they fixed a bunch of stuff. This one. This one's cute. I like this. I would definitely wear this one. <clears throat> this is uh, one of the new ones. And they've got the bag. I love these bags. Sayun and Sock, um, Nor Silk Garden Sock Solo, which is a solid. But you could substitute um, something. We can't, we can't word right now. I cannot. This one, oh. <clears throat> this one? That one's fun. Love this. It's got so much going on. And you just embrace the fraternalness yeah, of the front. Splits right there. Exactly. You could even do a cute little short sleeve. Yeah. Is that yarn over it together or just white? I can't white. Get close enough to Slip see Slip stitches. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I like this, though. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, Melanie, I know. Isn't that just synchronistic? I love that. Allie, I am loving the sweater vest, too. So popular. <clears throat> so this is the first time they've ever done this. Yeah. This is a different company. Same by them, Ella Ray. Um, but it's putting in basically a mohair silk. So here is color number one. This is... Uh, Neuro Silk Garden Sock Solo 51. And then they show you the difference when you put in the other colors. Oh, very nice. How much it changes. Like this. Oh, I love that this one has so much pink in it. Or blue or mauve. And then the same thing here. Mohair really does a great job. I okay. think their magazines are great with the articles in them, too. Yeah. Cashmere Dream would be a dream. It would. And another mohair in the back we haven't talked about. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Okay, we've got some crochet. I like this. That's cool. A lot. <clears throat> it's very retro, and they've done a great job of styling. It looks like a 70s vibe. Very, very pretty. It's crochet. It is crochet. You, I can see right here the columns of stitches coming up. <clears throat> This groovy cropped vest is worked in a crochet mosaic pattern. 
beautiful. I do like this though. I mean, you saw so much um, crochet and granny squares and all of that. Oh my gosh, we were watching a video the other night and it was just people walking. This guy does a walking tour of Japan. And in front of him was this gal on this crocheted vest, like that one we had oh, the trunk show. I mean, it yeah. was so cute. See, that's those. I just want them to give them to me. Yes. <laughs> I loved the crochet stuff from the trunk show. This is the one of the new yarns, the Sayun. It is a DK weight self-striping yarn. Beautiful. It's a sunflower in a ball. Mm-hmm. Look at sunflower. Hello, Mom. Oh, my God. Goodness, this next one's fabulous. Look at that. Wow. <clears throat> to me, to make this more wearable is you eliminate mm. one of them. A, a motif. Yeah, a line. It's a little too long because the issue, from a fitting perspective, your hips are bigger. Most people yeah. are. So then it's going to flare out here, which accentuates that you're bigger down there beautiful i mean i like this one too look at this offset granny that they started here and then they're just building it here love that that's neat yeah this is really pretty i mean i see the long sleeves but in my mind's eye short just make everything short sleeve these are mary this is crocheted and this is also crocheted this is using a new yarn, the Ritu, which is wool, silk, and mohair. For the cost of the magazine, you only have to like two designs. And really, at today's pricing, most of the garments now are priced $7 to $10. I like this. That is pretty. Oh, Rika. I just, Rika is one of my favorites. I just such a soft vibe on this. Again, Silk Garden Solo. This is really pretty too. This is the new, one of the new yarns, Sayun, which should be coming soon. Um, yes, Joyce, I think this one for sure shorter. Maybe no pockets. I don't know. Or the pockets, do they go right here? No. They'd still have to go there. I just think that'd be fun to learn how to do that. Right? It looks very intriguing. Do you see the magic circle right here? That would be fun just to learn how to do that. Oh, Devin, I know. We love the magazines. If you ever, I, we should have one of each of them. Have to if you next time you trip. come in, you'll look. We've because we've been getting them for years. If you want to come, peruse. I like, I, like that one. I love this one. I mean, I like the color. Beautiful. I like cabling. I like this one. Um, I think the yarn choice may be off because it's fighting the design. It'd be this would look yeah. better in a solid. But this, ooh, that's gorgeous. It's Edo, but my, is this it? Wouldn't this be amazing if this is it? Oh, no, it's not, but my goodness. Love that colorway. Love that. That's beautiful. And with the Edo, there are the big barrel balls under $55 for 440 yards. It's a great price point. And it easily knits up, kind of out of heavy worsted, even into a uh, bulky. Ooh, I love all this. What is that? 16, 15, 30 designs. Nice. And then there's one more at the end, which is another vest. We love you, vest people. How cute is this? Nice. That's fun. <clears throat> Short story. Very cute. Mm hmm And then there's one if you want to put um, cables into it. You put the magazine in your cart? Yes. 
don't wait too long. We tend to sell out. This is just staring at me. <laughs> I know. I love that one. This section right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even like that blue. Boy. That could be on my to-do list. When you think about the price, like a lot of times people think, ooh, $55. But if you were to buy um, two skeins of, what we'll say, um, Dream and Color, Classy Cashmere, you're going to yeah. be paying probably $20 more for that. They've just done such a, the single ply is just amazing to work with. And it does, the 100% wools definitely soften up when you wash them. How many skeins would that shawl on the cover take? This is going to be two different colors. So let me see. <clears throat> and this is um, a new yarn, yarn at Nancy, but you could do it out of something else too. So, um, it basically is two balls of 492 yards. Um, it is a DK weight, but you could definitely substitute a worsted and do less numbers, and it would be faster yeah. to knit. Like, you could knit it on a nine. If that's something you need help with, I would love to help you. So, it's just two balls? Two balls, mm-hmm. One of two different colors, bump up your needle size to a nine, and then you'll cast on less stitches, and we can help you with that. Let me make a note. Hold on, I can do it real quick. Wow. That's the back. Give you guys an overview page here. Oh, I needed to. Nope. Never mind, we're going back. Sorry, because I need to see, like, what the... What number was it? Two. I need to... I'll just kind of explain everything. This is here, Alexia. It's 15 by 61. If you were going to get, I would say, 18 stitches would be I would be happy with that so four and a half times 15 67.5 I love math I'm sorry I know so many people hate it but I love it so if we did um, it, it serves its purpose I just don't understand it very well it's all right you, you don't have to. We, you have lots of people to help you. Thank goodness. So if you wanted to do this out of worsted weight, you would buy um, basically, I think you could get away with two. Yeah. Get two balls of whatever of your choice in the worsted weight. Use a size eight needle and cast on 71 stitches. So are you saying two balls of each color? No, nope, one ball. One and one. Okay. Yeah, because it's um, it's gonna knit it so much bigger. So let me just write this now. It's worsted. You still need about. You could get away with this one. So there's 440. 440 yards, one of each color. And Jackie says we need a math class converting to different weights, please. Cast on. 70. I've tr I try to do that in my classes, but boy, people get lost real quick. Okay, here we go. Nancy typed size eight. Oh, size eight needle, 71 stitches, worsted weight. Yeah, there and it is. could be even a number nine. So 440 yards of each color. Mm hmm. There you go. There you go. All right. One of each color. It would be faster, too. Remember, you're going to pick colors that don't match. Yep, you right. really, you're going to be like, oh, that doesn't go at all. Yes, that's what you want to use. And it's two different self-stripings. Easy. All right. So there's that. Yeah, save that for me, please. <laughs> um, okay, just one quick little accessory that we have saved. 
You guys know we love little tiny packages. When I was traveling, instead of throwing everything in a bag, which I did day one, because no matter how old your kids are, they want to use your bag for everything. So then I emptied out my <laughs> yarn project. Oh, no. And then put one for yarn and then one for, like, medicine because okay, I've had yeah. a cold, a cough for weeks on end. You always have to have one for medicine. But I love this one. This is a, a black velour with this gorgeous gold bee. Perfect for holding a small project. Your accessories, your lotions, like this to me would be like my hand lotion would go in there, my knits that fit, and my class supply tin. I like the gold. It's really big on the inside, and I like that it's kind of a clamshell because it unzips. You can literally oh, nice. see everything in that. We just have a few of these available. Um, I think it's like black velvet B on the webpage. Yeah. Did you put a link in there for that? Let me look. Did you? I didn't. But oh, let me put yeah. it in for you guys. Black velvet B accessory pouch. That's a mouthful. Yeah. But it describes it perfectly. Sometimes we have to put more words because it actually helps you guys find things. It's not beautiful. I like that. Uh, let's see. We'll talk about what we're wearing. I will be on live at 3 o'clock, Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. I am wearing a beautiful Noro sweater called Beast. <clears throat> Bisset, B-I-S-C-E-T. It is using a Kari Solo mixed with a Kari. Um, it's one of the cotton blends, but really nice. I like that there's extra fabric here. I like the drape of it. It kind of looks like easy or ready where there's a little bit more fabric oh, yeah. down here. Um, this is garter stitch mixed with stockinette. So it's uh, two rows of the solid and two rows of the striped, but beautiful. I think it's just cute. I'll cut out so you guys can see. I'm, I'm, I'm still have the pure Dina vibe that I'm just wearing jeans. I was like, it's a little cold, but I think it's really fun. It is cute. I like it on. And I'm wearing one of our, the cute little pumpkin pins, which I think are great on your knitting bag too. Wants to know how to join Knit, Sip, and Hook if you want to. Oh, put my Knit, Sip, and Hook is on Facebook. Let me see if I can pop it open to show a real one. I, when I'm in town, 99% of the time we do it on I, Tuesday and Wednesday. I did get them, um, I did do it on Tuesday. You did? I did. I did. Good for manage, you. I managed to do it on <coughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. That's okay. All right. So if you come here, this is our Facebook page. Right here, there's a picture of Everly and I. So if you click there, there we go. And then all you have to do is click here. Right there. The blue link, and that'll take you. So anyone who's wanted to join us for Knit, Sip, and Hook, I do it Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific time. But it's super, it's fun to do. I love it. It's a great connection for me. It's normally my lunch break. That's when I do it. All right, I'll show you what Susan is wearing, which is a beautiful Noro design. This Everyone is, needs to knit one of these. Yeah, this thing's awesome. This is Veronica Cowell, and it is one skein of, worsted weight. I didn't write the flavor of it, but it is worsted weight. So it's basically a rectangle, and then you have a seam right here. And if I were to do this again, actually Nancy did this one, I would only seam half of it, not even half like that much, so it could drape across the back of your shoulders. It's a little too much on the back of my neck, but it is very, very cozy warm. Did Nancy use multiple? No, this is just one. Spades? No, this is just one ball of neural, one barrel ball. But it's Nancy. I know. I was mm -hmm. gonna shorten the seam this morning, but I seamed it that direction so I would have to cut it down here and I'm like flip it over a second that. this over, is how over. beautiful mm -hmm. I just want to show this yeah this is what we're talking about all the colors how it's changing this is just a really fun one to do 
And I think it's a very unisex styling. Yeah. Um, the reason why Susan's saying don't do <coughs> open it up, it fits over your shoulders a little bit it, better. Yeah, it, there's a lot here. If and if you open it up, you need someone enough, to. You could. But come over here. Very hard. If you oh, right, right here. Yeah. If you basically didn't seem here like four inches, it just opens it up easier to go over your shoulders. Yeah. Hello, Joanne. Because it's a little much on the back of the neck, but yeah. I don't care right now because it's warm. All right, my loves. I'll be back. Knit, zip, and hook at three o'clock. Otherwise, we're here in the boutique. Right now, um, 11 to 5, we're open. Lots of goodies. We'll pull your orders. And for those of you who saw the um, in the collective, someone posted a photo of what was in our Fall in Love box. Oh. We have a few left. Not a lot of them, but it is, this is the only way that you can get that colorway. It's beautiful. They are packaged and ready to go. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see everyone soon. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.